This is the Coin Market Cap Update with your host, Crypto Keith. We'll see which coins are leading and which coins are falling behind, which coins are good to buy and which coins are good to sell. So stay tuned for another interesting episode. Okay, we're back here on the cryptocurrency market capitalizations, and we're going to do a quick review today about what's going on. So, Bitcoin surpassed the $7,000 mark. Bitcoin Cash is suppressing uh, anyone's expectations. It's uh, reaching all-time highs, and uh, things like BitConnect are going up, whereas a lot of other cryptocurrencies are going down. So there is one cryptocurrency that surprised me uh, very much, and that was EOS. So storage in EOS are our t- two top gains today. So uh, we're going to take a look at those two coins. And then if you go down to the biggest losses, we have Grow Grow Still Coin, which we did a review of the other day, and then we have Status. So today we're going to look at Status uh, because it could be a good time to buy. It's really cheap, and if uh, the project is good, uh, you could make a lot of money off this one. So that's why we're going to look at the high end and the low end. Uh, coins you could be selling right now if you if you bought them earlier and coins you can be buying right now so first of all going to storage coin uh, if you don't know what storage coin is um, it was a very uh, lucrative project a lot of people were excited about it uh, has to do with cloud storage uh, and paying in cryptocurrencies and tokens for cloud storage or selling your cloud storage for uh, tokens. So we see the the charts here had a bit of a spike. It went almost to around two dollars. Now it's back under a dollar. So this kind of looks like a bit of a pump and dump. Uh, so we can't be completely sure. Um, can't be completely sure that it's going to go back up there until we do some research on the actual project and see what it's all about. So sustainable cloud storage, blockchain based end to end encrypted distributed object storage where only you have access to your data. So uh, it seems pretty cool about the encrypted part. How it encrypts your Imagine data. if the cloud wasn't up here, but down here with us that's storage storage is a cloud shared by the community it's potentially the largest cheapest and most secure cloud available what you share is what you get you could even be paid by renting your extra space but how is it more secure each file is shredded encrypted and spread across the network until you're ready to use it again so basically like the tor network uh, kind of uh, very secure network like the Tor network for storing files, uh, which is very needed right now because things like Google Drive, uh, I don't trust. I feel like they're going to use your data in the future or who knows, hundreds of years in the future when you're dead, they could be using your work. Uh, so this is a good way to store things uh, encrypted. So this is the pricing for storage and bandwidth. Free open source software. So yeah, it seems pretty interesting. They have a white paper. Uh, They have all sorts of um, ways to connect with them. 
And uh, yeah, so you can rent storage. We can check check the developers page real quick. Uh, help us build storage. So it's a community driven project, which is kind of cool, kind of like Steam it. Um, so moving on to EOS, this coin uh, did some amazing things. I honestly I was holding some of this coin and I sold it. I sold it a couple weeks ago and I'm very disappointed. I have a little bit in another account, but this is a perfect uh, learning experience and uh, example of why you should not sell your coins cheaper than you bought them. Just sit on them and eventually, if you bought them, there's a reason you bought them. And just because they're not up right now doesn't mean they're not going to go back up. And uh, it's usually when you feel like they're never going to go back up and they've been down forever. It's usually in the next week or two that they go up. So just when you're least expecting it, these coins seem to come out of nowhere. So this this coin EOS was uh, was sitting neck to neck with uh, IOTA. So this one was even a little bit cheaper at, at some point. Now uh, IOTA is about a third of the price of EOS. So EOS has at least tripled in price which is uh, very beautiful if you had a lot of money in, in it. So I, I didn't take advantage of uh, buying low and selling high. So right now what I'm going to do is I put some stop orders in to sell high and some mar margin positions to sell high because I do think it'll go back down. It's one of the only coins that is up right now. So... Once the other coins start going up, I feel this coin will go down a little bit. It has to uh, has to level itself out at some point, uh, although it could go up more before it does that. So let's look at what EOS is. And you can buy EOS uh, here. Let's see. Bitfinex is where I have it. Binance, Kraken. Hit BTC um, and all these other exchanges, but those are the main ones. Uh, it's currently a dollar seventeen, and it it went past a dollar twenty five at some points, maybe almost around a dollar fifty. So here's their website for EOS, EOS Dawn, and. They say they're scalable, flexible, usable. They have a white paper. Basically, what I've found out with my research uh, is that, for one, they do not have transaction fees, which is a huge bonus. Um, they have a very small amount of coins out right now as well. As you can see, only two million. It's uh, built on Ethereum smart contracts, and this is their social right here. They're on Steam it, um, Twitter, Facebook. So. It looks like a good project. They have all sorts of news here you can uh, look into if you're interested to find out more. Um, I went to this article, How is EOS Different from Everything Else? And it's written on Steemit, so you can go here and follow them on Steemit. You can follow me, I'm Keith Wilshine. And Steemit actually has a new logo, so it has a new look. Um, It'll look different if you when you log on. And so what it's saying here is everyone is asking what makes EOS different. And so basically parallel processing uh, is um,
share the capacity and performance of one single threaded blockchain, create hard scaling limits, and eventually suffer from network congestion that may result in platform-wide downtime. This uh, platform fixes that. A decentralized operating system. The EOS.io software assists developers with databases, permissions, scheduling, authentication, and inter-application communication. This greatly simplifies the process of building and deploying decentralized applications and widens the potential developer audience with anyone based to anyone with basic web development experience. So people can build on the EOS uh, platform. A ratifiable constitution governs the block producers and every transaction on the network through peer-to-peer -peer user license agreement. The constitution outlines a transparent framework for dispute resolution, force majeure decision making, and creates a common default arbitration framework for all users globally. So it has a structure and uh, rules that have to be followed and um, ways for people to resolve disputes. It's self-sufficient and evolution. So it it sustains itself by funding distributed networks with all government governance on chain. It does not rely on any single foundation, corporation, or individual, which is very key for um, setting your your blockchain application aside from from um, from the control structure that currently is. You want to create something different, or else. Um, if you're going to have a centralized blockchain, it basically defeats the purp purpose of having a blockchain. So it has slow predictable, predictable creation of new tokens, so slow release of new tokens. Um, it's built on backbone of delegated proof of stake community that has built and run the largest smart businesses in the blockchain ecosystem today, BitShares and Steam. So scheme it we're on right now with more and it has the same developers and some of the same people working on these two projects that are working on EOS with more than a billion dollars in market capitalization and more network activity than both Bitcoin and Ethereum combined. This community has begun pushing its innovations to the forefront of the space and are expanding the boundaries of what is capable. So no fees and one millisecond transactions. Let's go, people. This is going to be ETH and BTC to the ground. I won't comment its exchange market's value, but it's surely going to the moon with its technological offer. And we can see this in the market. So this is why we had a spike in price. And if we would have done this research ahead of time, we would have saw this coming and we could have been holding some EOS and that's why we're doing this so that we can check out these coins and be familiar with them. Next coin is status. There's not much to look at here. You can find it on Bittrex, Binance, Hit BTC, things like that. And when you go to their website here, they basically um, say that you can browse, chat, and make payments securely on the decentralized web. So Status is uh, a mobile Ethereum operating system, which is very interesting actually. It's a, an operating system, kind of like Windows, um, Mac OS X, or Linux. But you can buy and sell Ether locally, kind of like on local Bitcoins. Browse decentralized apps, so explore the next generation of apps. Send, receive, and store Ether. So this is what uh, some of the, the tokens it supports. And um, applications it supports. So... With status, your mobile device becomes a light client node on the Ethereum network, enabling you to access Ethereum's entire ecosystem from anywhere. Discover a decentralized economy. 
find dApps and other status users through the Discover feature, exchange currency services and ideas, helping to grow the movement for decentralization. So here people are offering uh, SGD to ETH locally in Singapore, so people can talk and uh, meet people and work with people in their areas, and it's kind of uh, private messaging as well. So here you can send uh, audio files, you can get people to confirm passwords, um, to confirm their identity, you can uh, transfer money, sell, uh, ether, things like that. You can design custom messages for your app as well. So that's pretty cool. Here's the uh, development team, the community driven project it's saying, and uh, here is all of their social links. So that's all for today. Uh, I did want to touch a little bit about uh, BitPetite. It is still down today. Uh, and I'm going to do a video, an update video, helping share with you guys um, what sh you should be focusing on and separating the real news from the fake news, the real channels, uh, BitPetit channels from the fake ones. I've done, done some research and uh, I just haven't had a chance to finish the video yet. But I do have a lot to share with you and uh, I'm confident that Bit Petite will be back up and I'm not going crazy or freaking out at all. Uh, I'm just being patient and I suggest you do the same. There's lots of other things to focus on in the meantime. You should have had uh, your money invested in multiple platforms anyways and not just one. So you should have some other platforms to focus on or some other investments uh, that you can focus on for now or just some other projects that you can work on in the meantime and let the whole bit petite thing work itself out. Uh, it seems like they were trying to redeploy the website because there was so much so much uh, new users that it got um, overwhelmed and bombarded. So they wanted to uh, create a new uh, server, basically. They're redeploying a new server and they may have not been very experienced with this and may have screwed it up, it seems. And uh, th this can happen. And it does not mean that it's the end of the world. It just means it's going to take a little bit longer for it to get back up and running. But don't listen to all the fear people are spreading uh, because it's just going to confuse you and it's going to stress you out. So. Follow my Twitter for updates and hit the notification bell here on YouTube and uh, you'll get notified with the latest updates and the real updates when things happen in the crypto community. I'm Crypto Keith and I'll see you next time.